Gunsmoke. Brought to you by Chesterfield. Made the modern way with Accuray. Smoother. Cooler. Best for you. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gun smoke. Starring William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Chester? Chester? Good evening, Miss Kitty. Well, you were going straight to the bar without even saying hello. Well, I figured you was kindly busy. <laughs> oh, I'm busy telling Andy here about Dodge. Andy, this is Chester Proudfoot. He's one of the people you ought to know. This is Andy Hill, Chester. I Pleased do. to meet you, Chester. Well, sit down. Sit down. Well, thank you. Chester works for Marshal Dillon, Andy. Well, that ought to be a good job. Oh, it's a fine job. If you like long hours and poor pay. <laughs> <laughs> he spends quite a few of those long hours sitting around the depot waiting for the Santa Fe to come in, Andy. <laughs> well, I just so Mr. Dillon will know where I'm at if he wants me for anything. Uh, Kitty. Yeah, oh, sure. Your name, Kitty? I'm busy, mister. He told me your name. Now I'm going to buy you a drink. Come on over the bar. Back to your hogs, mister. You're spoiling the air. I'll have no talk from a woman of your kind. <laughs> All right, you get out of here, mister. Get out. You putting me out? You ain't even armed. Well, I'll find me a gun quick enough. Hey, mister. How about me? I'm armed. You're too young to be wearing a gun. Take it off. You do it. You take it off. I sure will. From there. You want to die, don't you? No. I don't want anybody to die. Now, you get out of here. I'm going to put a bullet in you. You can't do it, mister. Don't try it. I'll show you. I told him he couldn't do it. Wait. You killed him, Andy. He was looking for a fight. I don't even know who he is. I've never seen him before. Oh, there's Matt. Who? Marshal Dillon, Andy. Oh. Did you kill this man? I did it. It was self-defense, Matt. Andy had to shoot him. That's the truth, Mr. Dillon. If that man was treating Miss Kitty awful bad, and I didn't have no gun, and Andy stood up to him. Get some help and carry him out of here, Chester. Yes, sir. Uh, a couple of you men, give me a hand here. Kitty, let's step over here. Yeah. You and Andy, is it? Andy Hill, Marshal. You should have seen it, Matt. That man had his gun almost out before Andy even started to draw. So you're pretty fast, huh, Andy? I'm alive. Where are you from? I told you my name. It don't matter where I'm from. What are you doing in Dodge? Marshal, I come here looking for a job, an honest job. He told me the same thing, Matt. I believe him. Why would I be lying? Well, the way Kitty described it, you're mighty handy with a gun for a man who's looking for an honest job. All right, I'll move on. I wouldn't have a chance here with you against me. Matt. Don't worry about it, Miss Kitty. I'll make out someplace else. Wait a minute, Andy. Yeah? Go over to the stage office. That's for Jim Buck. What for? He's a driver. He's looking for a man to ride shotgun. Tell him I sent you. Thanks, Marshal. I'll go over right away. So long. You see, Matt? He did mean it. Yeah, he wants a job, all right. But he's hiding something, Kitty. When a man hides something, it's usually bad. 
But I got a feeling about him, Matt. I think he's all right. And I hope so, Kitty. Won't be so good if I've recommended an outlaw to protect the sage. <laughs> a smile in your smoking. It's as easy as ABC because Chesterfields made with Accuray are A. Always milder. B. Better tasting. C. Cooler smoking. Yes, a Chesterfield is always milder. That's because Accuray controls your Chesterfield in the making. Gives it a more even distribution of fine tobaccos that burn more evenly, smoke much milder. A Chesterfield is better tasting. That's because an Accuray Chesterfield draws more easily. Let's you enjoy all the wonderful flavor. And a Chesterfield is cooler smoking. 14% more perfectly packed than cigarettes made without Accuray. You enjoy cooler smoking pleasure. No hot spots. No hard draw. So the next time you buy cigarettes, stop. Remember, an Accuray Chesterfield is A, always milder. B, better tasting. C, cooler smoking. Put a smile in your smoking, just give them a try. Chesterfield best for you. They satisfy. I didn't see Andy again that night, but I ran into Jim Buck, and he told me that he'd hired him. That they were leaving for Hayes City the next morning. It was two days before they were due back, before I'd find out if I'd made a mistake or not. And I waited. In the evening they were due, I was over at the stage office. Of course, the stage was late, over an hour late, but it finally came. And Andy was up on the box next to Jim. They pulled up, and Jim jumped down and ran over to me. Marshal, Marshal, you arrest him. Arrest who? Andy Hill, that's who. If I hadn't heard how good he is with a gun, I'd have taken him myself. I'd have shot him dead. Now, wait a minute, Jim. What's the trouble? He's mad at me, Marshal. Mad at you? You ought to be tarred and feathered. Why don't one of you tell me what this is all about? We was held up, Marshal. Held up by heaven, and this so-called shotgun man sat there like an owl on a rafter. Sat there and did nothing. Is that true, Andy? Why kill a man for nothing, Marshal? For nothing? The treasure box was empty and we carried no passengers this trip. He didn't get a thing. You didn't know that box was empty till I told you afterwards. I knew it before we left Hayes City, Jim. I figured I ought to know what I was guarding, so I found out. Sure. And for all I know, you was in cahoots with that bandit. Maybe you and him were partners. There's no proof of that, Jim. Well, I ain't hiring a man who won't fight. You're fired, Andy. I never want to see you again. I'm sorry, Marshal. I guess I've disappointed you. Because you didn't want to kill a man for nothing. That's right. There, uh, wasn't any other reason, was there, Andy? You think I was in on it, too? I didn't say that. Good night, Marshal. Andy. Andy. Yeah, maybe I did make a mistake. <laughs> I wasn't sure about Andy that night, but the next few days changed my mind again. He went all over town looking for a job. He tried everybody and everything, but nothing came of it. And finally, I heard that he got discouraged and quit trying. I had a long talk with Jim Buck, and at the end, he said he was sorry he'd lost his temper. But he still wouldn't rehire Andy. And that was that. Until one night about a week later, Doc and I were having a beer over at the Texas Trailer. From what I've seen of him, Matt, Andy's got a lot of pride. Maybe too much pride, Doc. No, he's young. He's feeling his blood. <laughs> oh, my, we were all like that once. Now, there's more to it than that. Well, what? I don't know, Doc. Andy doesn't talk much. Especially to me. Well, maybe he doesn't trust the law. 
Well, most people around here don't. Get away from him. Now what? That's Andy. He's drunk. Who's that following him? Who is that man? I'm trying to think, Doc. I've seen his face. Maybe it was his picture. I said I don't want to drink with you. No drink. Oh, there's going to be a fight now. Yeah, stick around, Doc. We may need you. A man won't drink with you. Take it any way you like. Andy, I could kill you. You know, you're drunk. Try it. Hold it, Andy. Stay out of this, Marshal. He's right. You're too drunk to fight. Am I? Watch me. No. Hey. What'd you do that for, Marshal? To keep you from killing him, Carrick. Know my name? I heard Andy say it, but I don't want to hear it again. And I don't want to see you again. You find your horse and you ride him out of town, Carrick, and you keep on riding him. Now you get moving while you got a chance. Hmm. Now, Chester. Uh, you should have arrested him, Mr. Dillon. He started the whole trouble. Yeah, maybe. But right now, get Andy's gun and take him to jail. He can sleep it off there. That's right, I will. Well, you didn't need me after all, man. Doc, that's the first time I ever turned an outlaw loose. What's that? Carrick. I saw his picture the other day on some new circlers, the law in Oklahoma Territory. I'd like to have him back. Well, then why didn't you arrest him? Andy's wanted with him. There's no picture, but I remember the description now. Carrick for murder, Andy for robbery. They were partners. You let a murderer go? No, not exactly, Doc. Carrick needs Andy for a partner. That's why he came here. And that's why he'll come back. If he comes back, you're going to have two outlaws to deal with. Yeah, maybe. But it's Andy who's going to have to decide that. He's still got a choice to make, Doc. All I'm doing is giving him the chance to make it. Why should you risk facing a pack of trouble to help a man you hardly know, man? A man who hardly knew me went out of his way once, Doc. Maybe I'm kind of paying him back. Oh. Well, I still say you... You must have a lot of faith in him. No, not a lot, Doc. Just enough to take a gamble. The next morning, it looked like a bad gamble. And he came out of his cell sullen and angry. And when I gave him his gun back, he took it and left without a word. Later, Chester reported that he'd ridden out of town. And it was several days before I heard of him again. Mr. Dillon? Yeah, what is it, Chester? Andy Hill's back in town. Oh? Jim Buck told me. Well, how does Jim Buck know? He's standing out there on the boardwalk talking to him. I went up and said hello to him, and you know what Jim told me? He's gone and hired Andy to ride shotgun for him again. He has? Yes, he has. He was kindly laughing about it. He said Andy spent most of the morning arguing him into it. Said anybody who could talk that good and that long deserved a job. <laughs> I guess he ain't mad at Andy no more, huh? Chester, Jim's bringing a shipment of gold back from Hayes City next trip. Hmm. You're thinking maybe Andy knows about it. Him and Carrick both. Yeah, maybe. What's that? It's a circular from Oklahoma with Carrick's picture on it and Andy's description. Oh, what are you going to do with it? I'll be back directly. Hello, Andy. What do you want, Marshal? Where's Jim Buck? He went over to the stage office. I hear you're riding shotgun for him again. Any objections, Marshal? Andy, if I had everything on my mind the way you have, I don't think I'd be friendly with the law either. What do you mean by that? Here, take a look at this. Hmm? Now, wait a minute, Andy. I didn't come to arrest you, so don't make me kill you. What? 
I wanted you to see that circler. I didn't think you and Carrick knew it was out. I don't understand you, Marshal. It was Carrick who held up the stage last time when you were riding shotgun. Wasn't it? It had nothing to do with me. I didn't know he was in the country. But you didn't shoot because you didn't want to kill a man for nothing, especially a former partner, huh? Okay, Marshal. I think your partner's again, Andy. I think you got this one planned. You won't take me alive, Marshal. I told you I didn't come here to arrest you. Why not? Because I think a man who wants it deserves a chance, Andy. You haven't had yours. Not yet. Well, maybe I'm wrong giving it to you, but I'm going to do it. What do you mean? The stage goes to Hayes tomorrow. It'll be back Thursday. I'm going to be waiting for it, Andy. Waiting real hard. Chesterfield, smooth and cool and milder. Chesterfield, put a smile in your smoking. Just give them a try. Chesterfield's best for you. They satisfy. Yes, put a smile in your smoking. It's as easy as ABC. Because Chesterfield's made with Accuray are A, always milder. B, better tasting. C, cooler smoking. Yes, a Chesterfield is always milder. That's because Accuray controls your Chesterfield in the making. Gives it a more even distribution of fine tobaccos that burn more evenly, smoke much milder. A Chesterfield is better tasting. That's because an Accuray Chesterfield draws more easily, lets you enjoy all the wonderful flavor. And a Chesterfield is cooler smoking. 14% more perfectly packed than cigarettes made without Accuray. You enjoy cooler smoking pleasure. No hot spots. No hard draw. So the next time you buy cigarettes, stop. Remember, an Accuray Chesterfield is A, always milder. B, better tasting. C, cooler smoking. Put a smile in your smoking, just give them a try. Chesterfield's best for you. They satisfy. Should have been here an hour ago, Mr. Dillon. It's already dark. That's often late, Chester. Why does it have to be late this time? Are you worried? Yes, sir. And so are you. Well, it's like putting your whole stake on one turn of the card. Yes, sir. Mr. Dillon? Yeah. It made it. The stage made it. Yeah, the stage did, Chester. But there's no shotgun messenger. Oh, my golly, you're right. Where's Andy? Oh! Oh! Where's Andy, Jim? I don't know where he is. I ain't seen him since we got to Hayes. You mean he quit, Jim? I'd call it that. Well, did he tell you he was quitting? He told me nothing. He just disappeared. Serves me right for hiring him again. I got work to do. I guess he figured he'd get as far as Hayes without you after him, and then him and Carrick could run from there. What are you looking at? That rider coming up the street, Chester. Leading that pack horse? It's not a pack horse. There's a body tied across the saddle, and that's Andy leading it. My golly, you're right. Now what's he gone and done? I will ask him. Hello, Marshal. Hello, Andy. That's Carrick I got there, Marshal. You kill him? I killed him. No witnesses. No way to prove who drew first. Jim Buck told me you ran off up in Hayes City. 
Jim might have got shot if I hadn't. Oh? Carrick was going to hold up the stage again, Marshal, and I decided not to let him do it. But I figured if I tried to fight him while I was sitting up there next to Jim, it'd go bad. So you rode back to meet Carrick alone, huh? Yeah. I left the night we got to Hayes. I found him and told him I was through for good. He got scared and went for his gun. But, like I say, I can't prove it was self-defense. Maybe I shouldn't have come back. Nobody's going to believe an outlaw. Chester. Yes, sir? Give Andy a hand with Carrick's body. I got some work to do. Where are you going? I'm going to write to the law in Oklahoma Territory. I'm going to let them know they can withdraw that wanted circular on Carrick. But what about Andy and that robbery charge? After I tell them how he brought in Carrick and how hard he's trying to go straight, I think they won't be too hard on him. In a moment, our star, William Conrad. If you want tomorrow's better cigarette today, next time you buy cigarettes, stop. Remember, only Chesterfield is made the modern way with Accuray. You'll notice how fresh and good Chesterfield's made with Accuray taste, how smooth they are, and how they satisfy. So buy Chesterfield today. Smoother, cooler, best for you. You know, on the frontier, there were all kinds. Buffalo hunters, trail drivers, spoilers, saddle bums. And there were lawmen, good and bad. Well, our story next week concerns a lawman's death. Until then, good night. <laughs> Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Our story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Hanley and Bill James. Featured in the cast were Sam Edwards, Harry Bartell, Barney Phillips, and Lawrence Dobkin. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Make today your big red letter day, your L and M red letter day. Superior taste and filter, it's the miracle tip. Make today your big red letter day. Change to L and M today. L and M's got everything. Superior taste and superior filter. Get L and M today. This is it. L and M. Superior taste and filter. Superior taste from richer tobaccos. Tastier, light and mild. Superior filter. It's white, pure white. Added to L&M tobaccos, this miracle tip actually improves your enjoyment. Look for the big red letters. Smoke L&M, America's best. L&M's got everything. Get L&M today. Be sure and listen to another transcribed story of the Old West on Gunsmoke. Next week at this same time.